world's third largest gold miner, Anglo Gold Ashanti, plans to expand its uranium production by about 54%. We're joined on the line now by Robbie Lazari, Anglo Gold's uh, Executive Vice President for South Africa. Robbie, thank you very much for joining us today here on Power Lunch. Uh, just starting off with uh, your increase in uranium production and the strategy behind this 54% increase, that's quite a big amount. Yes, our, our uranium production at the moment, it's uh, uh, the 54%, I, I don't know exactly what number you're quoting there, but we've, we will be overproducing uranium in terms of what our targeted levels were for the year. Mm. We were producing about 1.4 uh, uh, million pounds of, of uranium. But I think the exciting story is that we actually can expand our uranium production with a capital project that will be going to the board in November to about uh, 2 million ounces and I think that's where you're talking about the 54%. Yeah. Well this, uh, this increase in uranium production could account for all uh, of South Africa's uranium output. Again, why this strategy to produce so much uranium? Are you seeing the demand out there? Yes, we are definitely seeing the demand out there. I mean, uh, you know, I read an article the other day that there's uh, about 60 uranium power stations that's in the process of being built as, we, as we're talking. And, uh, you know, there was old uranium that used to be sort of put into the system over the last number of years. But going forward, we can actually see the demand is actually going to outstrip supply, which is very positive for us. And we're taking that view in terms of the longer term uranium projects that we're busy with. Mm. Well, just looking at your gold production, uh, because you say it's going to be held steady at the minimum of 1.75 million ounces a year for the next five years. Uh, but you do see a dip in output ahead of the big projects. Uh, and then, of course, you want to increase going forward. Uh, and that's, of course, in the next 10 to 12 years. What is your view on that, given that we have been seeing a lot of demand for the yellow metal? Yes, we've got, we've got uh, quite a few exciting projects. Our Mop, uh, Moponeng project, which is the carbon leader project, which is already at the deepest point in the world and actually will be going just short of five kilometers underground. And it's got a massive uh, 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 15 million, about 15 million ounces of potential gold that we're targeting in that area. And then our Moab Kutsong project, which is in the Clarkstorp area, which has got another 5.5 million ounces. Now, these are mines that will be mined through the existing mining infrastructure, but potentially is as big mm. as, or even bigger than what the uh, existing mines are. Now, of course, you know, we, we've got a sort of a 10 year life at the moment within our, our normal South African operations uh, before we will see quite a, a steep downward turn mm. in terms of gold production. And this is a challenge that the whole South Africa gold mining industry is facing. But these projects will extend the life of mine, like, for instance, the Moponeng one, to about 2015, which is yeah. long life operations. Uh, Robbie, just also looking at uh, the, uh, the, the, the news that we saw out in today's session, Andean Resources, very quickly, it seems that there is a bidding war involved and Anglo Gold Ashanti has been uh, said to be one of the bidders. Very quickly. Yes, I, I can't really comment on that because I'm not uh, part of that process at this stage. So I'm a little bit in the dark in terms of what is going on there with the, with the bidding process.